Hi everyone, it's Dee's from Turtle Dove. How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. I'm here uh, today with a bead haul. Um, I think I mentioned before that I would like to do more beading this year. I've just noticed I've got some sticky stuff on my nail. Um, and I tried an Australian based company this time. Most of my beads come from either Spotlight or um, Cheapest Chips or BB Craft. So this company is called Australia Beads and they are based in Victoria. And I will show you. They've packed it in this bubble wrap uh, envelope which is good. But they're not as good at packing as BB Craft. <laughs> um, some of these, I think, should have been put in individual bubble wrap as well. Because there is one bead that has been damaged, I think. And I don't know if it's just a cheap bead. Or... See some of these little seeds have come loose. And... You know, the postage is pretty rough, so they're probably knocking together. But anyway, I can stick them back on, I'm sure. But I will show you those in a moment. I also went to the Browse In and Save, which is supposed to be a cheap store, because I'm going to sort all my beads out. I've been buying some more, not well, quite a few beads, and I have to be able to put them somewhere, to store them somewhere. So this partitioned box was $10. <laughs> In my opinion they should only be about $2. But then I went to Bunnings hardware store to get some plants and I thought I would just check their storage aisle out and they had these big ones for $5 each. So I wish I hadn't gotten the the ten dollar one now but anyway and these are slightly bigger so there you go you have to shop around I guess but anyway let's um, get on with the beads so I might as well start with this one I'm at a funny angle again so excuse the lighting and the angle I want to make some of those poker tools so I'm on the hunt for big beads and they're quite hard to get really so I don't know if these ones are cheaply made or what but um, yeah some of the I cannot get there we go um, some of the seed beads are coming off, so there we go. See the gaps? So I've only got a couple, oh, two, three, four, five little beads to put back on, and hopefully, look, this one here, I just lost one. I think, I don't think I'll be able to use these. So, not too happy about that. They're not the cheapest of beads either. Now these ones remind me of the 70s. Now, I'm just going to look what the fine silk smooth textured woven beads they're called in various colours. And they are gorgeous. Look at that. I'll take, the, take it out so you can see the sheen on them. They look like those um, 70s Christmas balls. Look at that. And this is a beautiful blue. And then I just love this hot pink. Look at that. See how the light catches the sheen on there? absolutely gorgeous and I wanted four of the blue but um, she only had two in stock 
which is a bit annoying as well. <laughs> now this is just a beautiful white. And they're very light as well. And just let me see if I can look at the size. 18 mil. Yeah, so I've been trying to find beads, you know, above 12 mil. And this is uh, multi-coloured. It's uh, like a pale orange. And then there's a reddish orange mixed in there. See the two colours? Very pretty. So I've got six of those. Now I've just got to find time to make things, which is really difficult for me at the moment actually. So I've been getting into gardening and a whole lot of other summer things that you do. Look at the pretty pink. Isn't it gorgeous? And I love the feel of them, they're so smooth. I'll probably just sit back and admire them for a while <laughs> and take them out now and then. And this, of course, I had to get green. This is a beautiful peppermint green. And this is sort of two toned as well. Oh, now I didn't see this before. I'll have to cut that off carefully and glue it back. And this is what I mean. I don't know if I'll use this company again by from them, but I do like some of the beads. And a lot of the beads on the website, they look different to what they are in front of you. So, oh, and these gold ones. This is what I mean, there's some nice beads, but... I might try a couple of other... Australian stores online if I find them but this is a beautiful gold bead okay so that's those now this one I absolutely love these remind me of mints not of a Christmas mints or some type of mint anyway they have an iridescent finish to them. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but let's see if I can show you. I don't think you can see. Let's see. But they are white, and they have the green and red, different reds. There's a lighter red and a darker red, more of a maroon stripes on them. And they, they just look like lollies or you would say candy so I've got a few of those and now this is another they have little tiny seed beads or little seeds stuck to these ones they're pretty but the colour's totally different to what was on the website um, well, not totally different, but you know what I mean. It looked a bit brighter on the website, but they're pretty. I like the little flowers on those, and they're nice and big and chunky. And this is more woven beads in an olive green. Would have liked like a lime green, but that's just as pretty. It sort of looks more rustic. So I've got three of those. It was fun picking them all out though. It took me a couple of hours because you know what it's like when you look online. There's page upon page. Now these can be little spacer spaces. They're very light. And it has a really uh, lovely design. Little hearts. And the holes are quite big on those ones. So you can see why I bought. had to buy some little storage boxes for my beads. <laughs> I'm probably going to make an ASMR video sorting them out. Now I bought a couple of charms. I bought a seahorse. 
that's a nice silver nice and heavy and weighty but not too weighty so I'll probably hoard that one in use that on one of my journals or something and now I forgot the name of the stone on this let's have a look if I can quickly have a look there's so many here oh it's a hematite there we go hematite fish bead or a little pendant And that's nice and weighty as well. Oh, and I've got a hematite turtle. I collect turtles, I love turtles. So that's really pretty as well. Now these, I don't know what's the shape of those. Oh, it's going to take me too long to look it up, but these come in an assortment of colours. They're almost like a rounded on the top, a water drop. Or maybe pear shape you would call that I'm not sure but the holes quite big so that one's silver I've got a whole lot of silver I've got some gold and these sort of have an aged feel to it the gold and the silver they're not ultra ultra shiny but they still are if you know what I mean now these are really pretty this one's blue and if you move them around you can see a few other colors on there I don't know what you call that it's a nice metallic blue you can sort of see some greens and blacks in there And then this one is green based, but you can also see yellows and blues on it. See that looks more blue there, but then you turn it around in a certain light and it looks sort of almost olivey green. It's really pretty. And then this is similar, but a bit bigger. And a pretty blue and this sort of has a texture as if uh, you know wrapping paper for Easter eggs it's sort of almost as if someone's wrapped some foil over that so I've got those and I think there's ceramic underneath and this one here I didn't like at all it look totally different again online these have a sort of a peachy finish to them you know the the fruit the peach and it has that fur on it that's what these sort of look like so I'm not sure if that all sort of rub off over time but there's it's sort of olive green underneath and online it looked very yellow so bit disappointed with those so there's a couple there that I'm not really too happy with but oh this is some more of the same shape of those other ones I've just showed you in the silver just want to take them out the bag because when you get to see this is more of a matte silver now these are pretty I wanted to get a lot of white and pearlescent and silvers and iridescent but yeah they're very hard to find the big large white beads I sound nice and 
have a nice texture. Hopefully they won't fall off. So that's pretty. I've got some of those. These ones I love. They look like a disco ball. And they have an iridescent finish to them as well. It's got lots of diamantes on there. So I've got four of those. I'm getting there. Now these are just white. Sort of like a milky white. And they're small, they're probably maybe six mil or five mil. And they're all faceted. I should know or learn all the name of the different beads, but I'd never remember them. These ones are pretty. Uh, there's they sort of look a bit rough some of them though. Like the finish on them, they've sort of built up around the center and they look a little bit rough. Maybe I'm expecting too much, but pretty color. It's a beautiful rose pink. And they're just little as well. I think one of them was chipped and here you can see some of the colour missing towards the centre which is a bit annoying but hopefully if I can use a bead cap over that it won't matter. Now these are porcelain, blue and white, looks like the china that you get. Very pretty. I love this. These are light little marbles. And the white and green. Very pretty. Now these are some little, little, they're probably two or three more. Um, Faceted iridescent clear beads. Got some of those. Very easy to lose these. And be careful. And two more, some more faceted beads is similar to this one, but a bigger size. Probably two sizes up I would say. And you can't see the iridescent, iridescent finish on that so much on camera, but they are pretty. And lastly, last but not least, on the beads, some more of those disco ball type beads, and that's in the silver, and they're really pretty as well. So that's it as far as beads go, and I also bought some wire, so I can do some wire wrapping. Um, so I've got some silver and gold, and it doesn't have any information on there. Now let's see if I can quickly look at the wire. Okay, so it's six mil gold copper beading wire spool. That's thirty meters and thirty meters of the silver copper wire spool. So that should keep me going for quite a while. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, bead haul from Australia Beads. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're taking care of yourselves, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.